to start off my topic for today's talk, I'd like to first ask some very basic questions. What is drug metabolism? The biochemical modification of drugs in our body is called drug metabolism, and it's done by specific enzymes. So, where does it take place? Well, it takes place in many parts of our body. It includes the brain, the spinal cord, the intestines, but majorly your liver. So, what is first pass metabolism? Well, when a drug is taken orally or it's ingested, before it gets to the systemic circulation, it gets metabolized in the liver by specific enzymes. Now, our liver has a lot of enzymes, a number of enzymes, and the most important family is called the cytochrome P450, under which my main interest is at the cytochrome P2D6. So, in one line, what is CYP2D6? It's actually an enzyme in the liver that metabolizes drug. So, in a different context, we all know the drug codeine. Codeine, I think most of us have got a prescription for codeine once or twice in our life, and if not, there are some over-the-counter drugs which have codeine in it. Codeine is prescribed as an analgesic, a mild one, and an antitussiv. Codeine, chemically, is actually methyl morphine, and as such, it has no analgesic effect in our body. It's only through the conversion of codeine to morphine by CYP2D6, the enzyme I'm interested in, that we, or codeine, can express its analgesic effect on our body. Recently, the US FDA has issued a black boxed warning contraindicating the use of codeine in children after tonsillectomy and adenoidectomy. That happened after reports of children who died of morphine toxicity when they were given therapeutic doses of codeine were recorded. Furthermore, nursing mothers are advised not to take codeine after reports were made of infants who died of, again, morphine toxicity because the mothers were on therapeutic doses of codeine. But elderly patients have complained that codeine has no analgesic effect when they were taking it. They experienced no pain relief. So why do we have a bizarre pharmacological response to the same drug under therapeutic doses? If you look or surf on the internet, the first answer that's going to pop up in your face is pharmacogenetics. Now, what do we mean by pharmacogenetics? CYP2D6 enzyme is known to have genetic polymorphism. So, in general, people are categorized into four groups. The first one is poor metabolizers. The second, intermediate. The third one, extensive. And the fourth one is ultra-rapid metabolizers. What does this mean? Poor metabolizers are not able to convert codeine to morphine. So, we're not going to experience any analgesic effect here. Intermediate and extensive metabolizers can metabolize a part of codeine to morphine. So, we do experience pain relief. But, in ultra-rapid ultra -rapid metabolizers, a large dose of codeine is converted to morphine, leading, which might actually lead to morphine toxicity, respiratory depression, and death. So, solving the problem which I just previously said about the children and the elderly patients, I can say that the children were ultra-rapid metabolizers and the elderly patients were poor metabolizers. But if you dig further to look for reports which said elderly patients dying of morphine toxicity because of therapeutic doses of codeine, no such reports. And if you look for children who did not experience pain relief after surgery when they were given codeine, no such reports again. So, to investigate further, rats of different age groups were taken, and we isolated the liver because we wanted to nullify all other factors, which included drug distribution, the blood flow with age, and all those other factors. And what we got, or what we saw, is the rate of formation of morphine decreases with age. Why did that happen? Because CYP2D6 
enzyme underwent conformational change with age, which means it wasn't able to function properly. I'm talking about codeine and CYP2D6. If there's a problem with the drug, it's a single drug, just knock it off the market and the problem is solved, right? Well, unfortunately, CYP2D6 metabolizes almost 30% of the pharmaceutical drugs currently present in the market, which include recent analgesics which are being used like oxymorphone, oxycodone, and tramadol. So when I say there's a problem with CYP2D6 metabolism, I'm talking about a change in the toxicity profile of a drug due to the accumulation of parent drugs in elderly patients, and I'm talking about the decrease in efficacy if a drug gets metabolized into inactive metabolites in the younger generation. And if I only genotype a patient and I say he's an ultra-rapid metabolizer at the age of, let's say, 10 or 20, well, at the age of 70, he's an intermediate metabolizer. And a person who did experience pain relief at the age of 10 years, as an intermediate metabolizer, at the age of 70, will experience nothing because he becomes a poor metabolizer. So what can we do about it? We have to phenotype patients depending on their age. And the use of codeine in elderly patients, though it's considered safe, it might actually have just a placebo effect. And we can we might be able to maybe use pharm pharmaceutical techniques to bypass the liver to be able to target the exact efficient dose which gives us a pharmacological response that's not toxic but it's also good or it is a therapeutic value in your body and with that i end my talk my talk and i hope you did get something of what I said, and thank you very much.